Welcome back. The space station hasn't recovered from the previous accident. Without the support of new equipment, the terminal's computing power is severely lacking. The computing power should pick up the next day, though. Now, a new day begins. Yeah, we're very much waiting for this terminal here to basically reboot. And now it has. Hopefully, anyway. Here you are. Please turn on the terminal for me. Yep, here you go. The optical identity verification program has been set up. The terminal has sufficient computing power. Please feel free to use it. I will. Oh, it's a puzzle again? Okay. No, I didn't... I didn't want to go in out into it, yeah? I wanted to look at what we got. Um, So a block there. Okay. Simple enough, simple enough. There we go. Well done. Indeed. Lovely. The goes a long way. It does. People act much more maliciously on the virtual network. He was brutally harassed online. Did he get infected by the memetic virus during his most vulnerable moments? But his speech and style of his posts are significantly different from the cliché quotes Aster had mentioned. I'm afraid he's not the infected one. Okay. Then is it Joanne? But I better not jump to a conclusion just yet. I should check Joanne's records. A row of large words pops upon the terminal screen. Query failed. Click to refresh. Right. What now, mate? Do we have to wait another day? What? Is it broken again? Broken again. Well, it sometimes breaks down during maintenance. Oh no. This is caused by the old units I installed into the terminal today. They looked good to me at the time, and I thought they could boost the terminal's computing power. Looks like we'll have to wait until the replacement units are delivered. Sorry, please give me some time. Let me remove these units. I assure you the existing computing power won't be affected. However, I'm afraid you'll have to come back tomorrow. I knew it. I'm sure by tomorrow there will have been sufficient computing power. What they're just... Right, so let's actually look at the... I thought I was going to say three then, but no. Let's look at the messages we got, because we got one from Asta, March, and Dan. So, Asta. Do you know what a rich mindset is? Why? Do you know... Do you, do you want to know about a rich mindset? I, I'm worried by the quotation marks. Why? What's a rich mindset? Do you really want me to ask that, Miss Asta? Good answer. Can I get a screenshot of this? I'll blur out your name. You won't get in trouble. Can I still recall that message? It's okay. It's not a big deal. Feels like a big deal. I have the misfortune to be invited to do a stream seminar again. The topic this time is... Summit Talk. A rich mindset will change your financial views and lift your perspectives on wealth. I need to convince them this topic is super boring. Who would want to watch that? Hmm. I'd rather watch Peppy play Holodisc. Indeed. <laughs> True. Do you mind if I take another screenshot? Tick. Tick. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Just a little... I, th I thought it was leading to a quest, but no. Anyway, March 7th. This looks just like me. Because it is. New sticker pack. Yeah, it's you. But I think this one looks more like you. Hmm. We'll go with that one. What the... This is so not me. <laughs> of course, of course. Dan! Found an old express communication log in the databank, and one of the categories is dad jokes. Oh no. Oh no. I don't fully understand it, but my instinct tells me you should be able to. Am I like that? 
So is this the kind of person I am in your mind? Yes. This is what it says. Oh, watch-keeping duty. On watch-keeping duty with Himiko, she's talking in her sleep. Pom-pom. There's another entry an hour later. On watch-keeping duty with Pom-pom. They have been talking in their sleep for almost an hour. Himiko. What do you think, Twitika? Triple dot is what I think. Okay, looks like this categorization tag can stay for now. The log stops there. I asked Himiko and Pom Pom. Neither of them remembered the incident. Who's the one talking in their sleep? Looks like we can only rely on other entries in the databank to verify this information. I tend to believe that the databank is... Omnipotent. Oh my. With a thumbs up. Right, so we got the messages out of the way. So, you know what that means. Time to get back to the main story. In Boulder Town. If we're not on patrol, we should get some rest. I mean, think you were wandering around as now. <laughs> anyway. Hey, you came. That was fast. Was it? But I mean, yes. What is Wildfire doing in the mine? Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. I don't think I understand. Can you go over it again? Understood. Let's go. Oh. As for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Oh my. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. Bronya's here? You're about to come face to face with reality. Oh my. Let's go see reality then. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Hey, where are you going? Don't think you can just run off. Come back here and finish talking things through with Natasha. Fine. I just wanted to explore. Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Hmm. I'm not feeling too good. Oh? You look fine to me. Uh, sorry, I need to prioritize the wounded. There have been violent clashes between the miners and local thugs in the last few days. Many people are injured. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Look at the size of it. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. 
Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. Hmm. The vein should belong to those who discovered it. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? In one way or another, yes. They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. It's a case of like, solve that problem, and then we'll get our favor. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? There we go. Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Hmm. Sounds like a fair trade-off. <laughs> of course it is. Nobody gives without expecting something in return. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. Very well. Relics. Provides the wearer with bonus stats. Gain bonus buffs if the wearer has a complete set equipped. Open shortcut. Down we go. Alright, new equipment then. Enter the relic equipping menu. See, I already have a few things. Select a relic. Relics can offer stat bonuses to characters. Equip relic. Select relic for the hands. Collect relic sets to activate powerful set effects. Alright then. You can like do the rest that I've got. Be a good idea. I'm going to change over to this. Oh no. Are we on Japard? Looks like we are on Japard. From the looks of it. So it would be a good idea to get the defense bonus ones. So increase defense by 15%. Increase the max damage that can be absorbed by the shield created by the wearer by 20%. It's just, just a good idea to have that on him. And let's switch over to you now. And put on the attack one. There we go. So what are those two extras? You see the two padlocks there. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So what message did we just get? Found some strange items. Relics. 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 These are relics. I like how you get the different... Personalities just in one, I was going to say one word, but Welt just decided to add a few more to complicate things. But the difference there between Dan and March, just, 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 it's a nice touch. Thanks. So what's a relic? A construct made from a data stream. Many believe they're linked to Stellarons and Fragmentum Phenomena. What we refer to as relics are objects corroded by the Fragmentum, whose data is saved and then reconstructed. Cheers, mate. So what's a relic? You could consult Herta. She's an expert in relic research. I do like it, like, yeah, all right, uh, Technobabble, uh, what's a relic? It's equipment. That's all I would say, it's equipment, just equip it. Okay, so let's go up now. Gotta keep an eye out for chests. The giant ore vein. The one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. There was more equipment in there. So, let's get that. Yes. It was the new. 
Is it just that? Okay, fair enough. At least we've got a quick way to get there for, from that. That's good. Right. <clears throat> Mate, yes. <clears throat> we got an achieve. So, I wanted to look at something and I've completely... Ah, we just got new equipment, didn't we? Relics here. So, what are these? Increases break effect. Increase the wearer's break effect by 60%. And the wearer inflicts weakness break on an enemy. It generates three energy. Hmm. Got a bit of hiccups then. Um, let's actually put those on... Aster. Go with that. Go with that. For now. For now. That person up ahead. Is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Either his name's Peak or we're having a Peak. His name's Peak. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. And nobody wants that. Hmm. Uh, mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. And then, where did wildfire go? Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago, and they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. Really, dude? I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Robots? Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. New challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! Chest. I see the chest. Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines, but then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. Maybe someone's playing tricks. <laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <sighs> you remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Yeah, the, the, the fist spiders. Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should... Oh. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it r responding? <sighs> Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? 
But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiot. We'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Oh my. No manners, huh? None. None at all. Let's bounce. <laughs> oh. He really got taken out. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? It looks like a, um... It's a wallet! It's full of money! Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep! 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 Searching for potential user! Hello? Beep! 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 Voice print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my! It's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Ah. But that implies there's something else going on then. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Maybe, maybe. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Whoa! Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Interastral Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. Findy. A Home Use Object Finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an Interastral Peace Appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. That's a hell of a warranty period. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an Interastral Peace Appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This fella's already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Let's take it. Maybe it could be of some use. Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! Yeah, I know. Anyway. I want to get that. Boom! So we need to go that way, but... Oh. But it looks so cool. Ah, well. We got down oh, here. Things. Oh, yeah, you're an enemy, aren't you? Ask it for trouble, huh? Boom. Huh. <laughs> A will forged in ice never falters. Oh, I do. There's something about are made to be broken. His ultimate that I really do like. Anyway. We caught them unawares. Oh, ho, ho, puzzle. Okay. Hmm. There we go. I like those puzzles. But please follow me in the instructions on the panel and confirm the exploration. The detecting obstacles in the way, please clear the path. But what? Hold on. I, I just need to check what's down here. Hold on, mate. Could be something. There, you see? You see? It's important to check. There's a chest down there that we, we saw in the um, cutscene, I think. I think, anyway. Where's Puzzly Dude? There's Puzzly Dude. Boom. Who will it 
Ooh, Ooh traffic light. That looks cool. Yeah. Nap time. Right, it's a new enemy, so I turned off the auto. Now, I'm basically no instilling manners, loads huh? of different rules for when I auto and when I don't. Stuff we've done previously, definitely. Detecting obstacles in the path, please clear the path. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Depends where Puzzly's taking us. Come on, Puzzly. The, the, the gun, mate. There we go. What we got down here then, mate? Oh, thank you very much. Ooh, quite a bit of stellar jade. Oh, yeah, there is a commotion. Ah, cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. <laughs> Disgraceful. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. Well, look what's behind you. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> Wildfire are stuck dealing with Svarog's minions. How are they going to help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! Let's save them. I'm going to. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! You? And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Oh, shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. <laughs> He's done. He's done. Yeah. They're done. Oh, Zila. Thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Hmm... We need to talk about this boss. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can command robots? No, I I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Oh yeah, no problem. I want to meet Svarog and his minions. Right. There's unfinished business here. The chief is still down there. 
It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Indeed. Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Oh my. Well, I want to check out this, to be honest. So what we got here. Ooh. So we can do... Three waves. Let's see that. And yep. Let's have it go on auto for this. Stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Nap time. There is something I like about just being able to use the auto and it being very decent at taking out enemies. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. I don't know what it is. Rules it, it, it are just, made to be broken. It's not like it feels like it takes the game away from me or anything like that. It's, it's like, no, it's like, it just feels you can use it at the appropriate times, like this. And lessens the grind, lessens that, that sort of like feeling you get from a grind where it's like, oh, I've got to do this again. This is just like, oh, just wait a moment and you can maybe learn a few things from the auto battle. So I kind of like that, kind of like that. Very nice. Ooh, diamond membership. Let's have a look here. Oh, one million credits total. Interesting. Now, have we got anything we can get in the store yet? 239 on... Ooh, it's so tempting to go for that. No. No, go on. Go on. I'm sure I can build up more before then, right? before it replenishes right right we shall see we shall see right so you we got one going it's another void that I, I keep doing that it's no I don't want to do that right you nope no stuck in a loop we are stuck in a loop right so what we got in the way of store now so back to 140 there Still need quite a bit to get more of them. Right. But anyway, I'm thinking about ending this part here. And in the next part, we'll continue deeper into the mines. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.